Welcome, Russ Lovers, to the Arboretum Garden, Farm, and Stables Base. As you can see, we've got a couple of wind turbines. The front half of the base is uh, very RP, I know. Farm, and we've enclosed a whole tree, which is actually growing while I was building this. The rear part of the base is uh, storage for your loot rooms. Um, it's got a HQ core. And we've got a couple of Peacekeeper turrets on the outside here, protecting the main entrance and the stables entrance uh, from troublemakers, plus a few turrets indoors. So, without further ado, let's head in. So, main entrance here, as mentioned, we have a peacekeeper turret with a python in it because they sting. I've got all garage doors up on the inside, um, but I will point them out just to make it easy uh, to get through. As you can see, we've got our farm here, which is the equivalent of about two and a half large planters. Um, obviously, you've got enough space here to cram a lot more if you really want to intensely farm, but I've done it primarily for looks and a little bit of testing of different illuminations uh, just to make it look nice and cozy. Uh, we've got heaters all round. We've got uh, the new style uh, lights that came in a few months back. Um, and up the top there, we've got the rest of the tree growing up, surrounded by fences, which could put shop fronts in there just to make it as secure as the rest of this section. But I wanted it looking a little bit more airy. And I've got uh, white lights up there as well. And obviously a wind turbine perched on top. So that's that area. Through here, we've got a water barrel. We've got three water catchers outside, water pumped in, keeping that topped up, large water catchers. If you wanted to intensely farm, it wouldn't be enough, but uh, if you go for a trip to a local river every now and then, that'll keep you going. Um, I'm gonna go to the stables first. It looks like it's getting dark outside, which is not ideal, but we'll, we'll go with it. Stables, and this was also the primary starting point for the base, which I'll go through in the build, because obviously you can't build the garden first because you'd be too open uh we've got a couple of horses in here we've got three troughs should you want to try and squeeze six horses in here for all the dung they're going to produce we've got three garage doors here this was a tc area at the beginning but i've moved it upstairs now we've got a composter just a storage box battery and this powers all the lighting for downstairs i've got another battery and another wind turbine on this uh secondary building here which powers the gun turrets throughout the base so that's that Close that down. We've got a storage area here, a loot room behind a couple of garage doors. I know it's only a stone wall on the ground floor here. They get you four large boxes, four small boxes. Useful near the beginning when you're building it. Nice sign. Okay, let's venture upstairs. We'll lock that off. Up we go. So there's a garage door here and here. I'll close these as I go just so you can see. <clears throat> Now, at the top here, full metal floor, uh, sorry, metal floor actually, and metal walls. Uh, got a button here which is linked to a timer around the other side. You can activate either, which activates all the lighting on this floor. The turrets are permanently live, all with pythons in. So top of the stairs, we've got a garage door and a shotgun trap pointing over the stairs, as you can see. Turret, and we've got a first loot room here beyond a couple of garage doors. Standard setup, a couple of shotgun traps, just to sting any nosy neighbours. Uh, all these sections have got garage doors on, so there's a lot of uh, cells, if you like, for people to get through if they want to try and get to everything. I've got four furnaces up here, um, and we've got more storage. I mean, obviously not as critical storage as the stuff in the centre. Um, another uh, gun turret here, more storage and our battery which powers all of our gun turrets uh, split into half with this uh, branch and then those two halves of about 40, 48 each go into these two splitters giving us plenty for each turret which we only need 10 for, I've got 15 here in case I want to put the warning lights up and uh, then we've got our timer here which is the push button is linked to for all the lighting around here. Um, as you can see this is a high qual core floor and ceiling is all metal in the core it's high qual We've got a garage door here another loop room uh, with four boxes and a shotgun trap and you've got your TC behind here but it's very modular 
this whole floor you could lay it out however however the hell you like uh, this is just what suited me I did have the uh, TC with a garage door here but thought that's just a bit weak so put it behind a couple there um, and then still more we go up into the ceiling space which I've left usable Got a light here which is linked to the lighting turned on downstairs and we've got a couple more furnaces a mark 2 bench or three if you wanted storage barbecue and a bit of a chill out area just so you can uh, make stuff up here if you need to you could have a mixing table up here as well I recommend it just to do uh, cook all your uh, smelted sulfur into gunpowder and this is just obviously a stone roof you could make it metal if the resource is allowed um, but as you can see we've got a HQ floor here uh, to the core and metal on the outside if you've got buckets of HQ do the lot I do like those new type lights they give a industrial feel to the whole look of the thing head back downstairs finish up in the garden and I will show you the build little lighting this is the main lights for the whole of the um, garden if you like and this is set for a nighttime cycle for this light here and the, uh, the light in the main entrance way there and there you go hope you like it on to the build okay so let's build this thing so I was looking for uh, one of these birch trees there are good heights for what we want to do so this is the one I've selected today let's start building so we want to start with triangle we want it high enough to cover all the roughs in the ground and because we're not going to build the arboretum first the base we need to be safe we just need to get that centralized area so I'm going to build the base towards the back that's good so from here I know I'm safe just to build out and then there's going to be a staircase and this one will be the start the ground floor of the stables and base center Stables on the ground floor, but we can use that as our starting position. So you can build this modular. Let's start with the main base now. Now we've got the position right, so even if that twig gets destroyed, we know we can get back to that tree as long as no one cuts it down. So I'm just going to build out. Okay, this is going to be our stable entrance. Okay, here's going to be our stable entrance. And that can start by being our main front door, and we can secure this quite comfortably for now without having to pick out anything afterwards by being careful with what we do. Now it'd be nice to have a way just to get straight into this area as we come into our stable. So to do that we're going to have to have a door here. And so we don't get killed as we go out. A couple of shop fronts here. All the rest of this can be blocked off. That's fine. And to start with, and we can move it later, have our TC here just so we can get started so this is the first part you can build you can literally just build this bit now because uh, I'm on a build server I've just laid this out but once you've got your tree you've built back just build your square and your triangle here you can get your get your TC down so I'm make that stone Sources in it. Now we can start our 
stable floor, which will do as our initial living space. So the door, I'm gonna put two shop fronts there once we get furnace going. Uh, this will obviously be a door into the Arboretum and to the upstairs where the main loot rooms and um, functional spaces will be. So let's get these stoned up, put our first door on. Okay, TC secure. So now we can build this out because this this is going to be our we're going to have a nice roomy stable in here. So for now, obviously we need a furnace going. So let's just carry on building this out. TC. If indeed we want to move it, we can make this uh, a little storage room with some moderate strength. At least with the garage door. Maybe metal up the outside if we so choose. Good, now we've got furnaces cooking. Let's carry on sorting this out. That could be loot rooms around this side there. We'll have some basics here to get us going. Let's get our shop fronts on. Right, let's stone the rest of this up. Now, when you've got enough metal, you're going to want to get this all in metal because it's going to be the upper floor and we need... Um, we don't want it being soft sided. There's going to be an airlock here, which I'll do. We've got a living area. Upkeep isn't phenomenal. One and a half stone nodes, less than half a uh, a metal ore node and less than a tree at the moment. When you've got the materials, I recommend you upgrade all these sides and this floor to metal. triangle parts up, keep them exactly the same as the floor tile below them, that way you'll get a perfectly good fitting roof, there we go, just get those triangles to fill in up there. To get the height for the ones on top you can either build a temporary uh, staircase in here, or climb up outside, whatever you're happy doing. Okay, tree gone. So, you can literally lay this out, as I say, with any of my base designs, however you want. We've got a roof space as well here, which I'll probably put a, uh, 
uh, a loft hatch trap door in and we can use this space also for storage um, but you could I say you could use just get yourself in here and then honeycomb all this and then just have the middle as a core I'm not gonna do that uh, I'm gonna use this for um, a couple of loot rooms spread apart so there's no splash damage from breaking into them maybe one over here and one over in this uh, this side here so with that I'm gonna uh, lay out how I fancy Let's do this. We still want to get in this loft space because you've got a lot more storage up here. I'm going to go and stone up this floor. I actually high quality the centre of the floor now. Let's assume we've got some stuff. So now, even if you leave this outside of stone, they may get into an individual compartment, because we're gonna now put garage doors all the way around. So they only get into one unit, and your, your goods are in the center. I'll be back in a second once I've got all the doors and walls on this. Okay, now we've got our walls and uh, doors in. Time to put our essentials down. Furnaces, of course. Some boxes. You never have enough boxes. Workbench can be a two or a three. Stack a couple of sofas down. Get a door on. Our troughs, I'm gonna put three in. Barbecue for cooking whatever meat we might get. And now we're going to head off into the Arboretum, uh, which I think is my favourite part of the build, to be honest. Um, because it looks fun, of course. Let's build this out the same way as the other place. Get all your door frames in, or window frames, in, uh, in this situation. Roofing this is pretty easy, just make sure you've got the triangle roof tiles opposite the triangle floor tiles and uh, they will seal up nicely. Start the tower part for the tree. More window frames. This will be our exit entrance. Get it all stoned up. I'm gonna leave the middle wood uh, because it provides no extra strength and uh, it looks quite nice around the uh, tree in the garden area. All these stand up. Get the shop fronts on, 250 frags each. I know they're quite expensive, but by this stage you should have plenty. 
So getting up here can be a bit tricky. You might need a, you're gonna need a ladder or to build some twig up the side just to get the height you need. I put them in wood, again, because they look good and they're just about the same strength as the fences. Uh, if you want it stronger, then put shot fronts in and stone frames. Get your planters down. I opted for single ones all the way around, as you can see from the tour, just to give it a bit of space and mobility, and that provided more than uh, ample farming needs. Bit of a chill out area, otherwise it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be one of my bases. Get the lights on. I just decided to keep these on every large flat roof panel. Didn't want to overdo it. Using the red and the green just to give, um, I think, a nice effect. Got to get our conventional lights on, otherwise nothing's going to grow. I'm also going to put one uh, roughly off center just to provide the planter behind the chairs with enough light to grow once I've got these done. There we go. Looking good. Stoning up this area ready for the wind turbine on top. If you haven't built this high enough, the leaves poking through the top will prevent the wind turbine from seating properly. So just bear that in mind, if your tree's sticking out the top, that will be the reason why. Got the other wind turbine over there, which I put on earlier. I didn't bother showing you because it's much the same as this one. This is for looks, but also adds a little bit of protection if people are just shooting up over the edge. But again, they can hit the turbines if someone really wants to destroy it, they're gonna do it easy. So not much you can do about that, because they need to be exposed to catch the wind. Wire up turbines to the batteries. Get some lights on here. Nice. They do look good, blending those together. And depending on what tree you use, uh, they'll reflect off the foliage better. But obviously it's very role play heavy. But worth it, I think. Get these lit, just to illuminate the tree in the tower section. It's good. It's bright at night as well. Okay, moving our TC upstairs. Just made this little area beside one of the loot rooms, but you can put it wherever you want. Got a door in front of it. Wiring up a few of the lights here. I've got these all the way around. I use the industrial ones inside the loot room areas. I think they look better. Rig them all up to a timer, lasting about 10 minutes for night time. Then finally, when the, uh, the frags allow, get that wall as metal. So you've got a metal floor and a HQ floor. Uh, so if they break into the stables area to go straight up, they've got to go through quite a bit. And they don't know exactly where your TC or your loot rooms are. So I encourage you, if you ever do build this, to move things around. <clears throat> Get the planters watered. Ready for some crops. Just put some final nice touches on here. Ready for the tour that you saw at the beginning. Squeezing a few extra boxes here and there. Never a bit of candle. And there we go. 
Um, I hope that was beneficial in some way. You got some ideas from it. That's always my goal. Never just to make a, uh, a base that people can exactly copy. Of course you can, but it's to introduce some new ideas. Uh, some ways of making it look a little bit more cozy, friendly, so you enjoy your base a bit more. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Slap the like button if you liked. Uh, please give a comment. Always open for comments, good or bad, to help improve the next video and channel. Thanks for popping in. Cheers.